God is good. And all the time, I can see the church is looking good. You are very smart. I can't see your faces. I believe that what is in the smartness is reflected in the faces, though covered in mask. So if you are happy, please wave. God is good. If you are happy, say hallelujah. And now say amen. amen. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm privileged to stand here to share the living word of God. What do you say to the choir? Amen. Choir, God bless you. That was marvelous. And I thank God for you. I also want to appreciate uh, Elder Nyambu. That was a marvelous introduction. May the Lord bless you. I'm privileged to have uh, my good friend, Pastor Kioma. But I believe he'll come back permanently. Please stand up and wave to us now. Some are not waving back. Please wave back. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm also privileged to have my senior pastor, Pastor Kali. Please wave to us. I also want to appreciate the children. Uh, that was marvelous. And I well, thank God for you, Sister Joy, Michelle, and the, co and the team. May the Lord bless you. We thank the Lord for this day. God has been faithful to us and we want to appreciate and to give him thanks. My sermon title today is uh, Whispers of Love. Tell your friend Whispers of Love. Now your friend is asleep, so turn to the other friend. Uh, turn to the other friend and repeat the same word, Whispers of Love. Yes, uh, thank you so much, Choristers. You've done marvelous work. And may the Lord bless you. Whispers of Love. That is my sermon title today, and that is a thought I want to draw from the book of the book of Isaiah 30 verses 21. Isaiah 30 verses 21. Many scholars believe that Isaiah, uh, Isaiah from 28 to 35 is, a, is like a poetic book, and I believe uh, and I, I agree with them that this book is rich. Isaiah 30, verses 21, whispers of love, but before we get into the, uh, into the reading, allow me to pray. Gracious divine, all I ask is that you take custody of our hearts. I pray that you may keep your words and the promises because you said you will labor with me. A time has come that you must take charge even as humanity diminished and divinity be exalted. Be with each and every one of us as you bless us this morning, for we played in Jesus' name. Amen. Isaiah 30, verses 21 says, Your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, Here is the way, walk in it, whenever you turn to the right or to the left. This version does not actually portray what is written here, so let me quote uh, the good news. The good news says that when you wander off the road, when you wander off the road, you shall hear a voice saying, Here is the way, walk in it. Whispers of love. Whispers of love. And I want to begin by saying that because I'm standing here just to try to encourage someone, to convince someone still in doubt that God is love. God is gracious and God is merciful. Hallelujah. If you are with me, say amen. amen. I'm saying that God is love and because God is love, his love is kind. His love is merciful. His love is gracious. God is love. You cannot talk about God without giving reference to his love. Because God is love and that the, the principle of God is actually governed by love. There's no one on earth Living or dead, ever been hated by God. God is love, and that is who God is. Hallelujah. You are still sleeping now, so you are giving me a lot of work trying to introduce myself. I'm saying that God is love. You cannot talk about God without giving reference to the love of God, because God is love. And I'm also saying that there's no one ever been hated by God. God loves everyone. He loves the young man the same way he loves the aged man. He loves a single lady the same way he loves the married lady. Say amen, my friend. 
Now that is better now. God is love. You cannot, God, the love of God cannot be limited by your status, either from the language you speak or the color of your skin. God is love. God loves a white man the same way he loves a black man. He loves a single lady the same way he loves a married lady. So whether you are married or single, we are all equal before God. Say amen, my friend. See, some people when they are married, they look at those who are single and they think God loves them more. God loves everyone equally. And I want to say this, that because God is love, I'm just introducing this someone. Because God is love, the Bible says that he loves the just and the unjust. Okay, let me quote. Matthew says in 545 that God maketh the sun to, 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 to rise on the evil and the good. He sends rain upon the just and the unjust. So God loves us equally. Whether you are evil or righteous, God loves you. And I want to say that because God is love, because God is love, the gospel, the everlasting gospel, will reach every corner of the world because God is love. And let me leave this pulpit because you are not with me. Maybe I can sing for you. Can I sing for you? No, I'm not going to sing for you. The singing has been done and they were wonderful. I don't know. I'm saying that because God is love, the everlasting gospel will reach every corner of the heart because God is good. And we know that the tire and the wheat must grow together in the house of the Lord because God is good. To be a testimony that God is love. Mm, they, they didn't get me now. I'm trying to say that the wheat and the tire will grow together till the close of time because God is good. And I'm also saying that every wheat, no, 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 no. Every tire will hear the gospel because God is good. To be a testimony during the end of time that I heard the whispers of love. Hmm. These guys are not with me. So let me try this side. <laughs> I'm saying this, that Jacob and Israel will be together. Not every Jacob will become Israel. Not every God will become the sheep. Not every church member will, be, will overcome the shaking that will qualify us to be remnant heading eter entering eternity. Why? Because God is love. Mm. Because God is love, my friend. All of us stand in equal footing before the cross. Because he is. So when he is love now, you need to be rejoiced. You see, it is not good to serve God and be gloomy at the same time. Those who serve God must rejoice. Paul says, rejoice, and again I say what? He didn't say be gloomy, and again I say be gloomy. Why? Because when you are serving God like now, I'm enjoying this sermon, I must be happy. Hallelujah. Mm, these guys are not with me. Are you with me? If you are with me, say amen. amen. Now, I think that is now better. That is now better. There's no one that God hates. God loves everyone. God loves everyone. And I want to say that because God is love, the eye that never slumbers, no sleep watches over the same children of men. Now you didn't get me. Psalms 121 verses 4 to 8 says that. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleeps. The Lord will bless. You are going out and you are coming what? The Lord will preserve you from all what? Evil. The Lord will preserve your soul. And then he says that the Lord will bless you from now on. Till eternity. Say amen, my friend. Because God is good. And because God is love. Thousands of angels are ministering even now because God is love. This row is discouraging me. I want to reduce this one now. Thousands, ten thousands of angels are ministering to the children of man because God is love. And I want to say this, that voices inspired by heaven still cries out today saying this is the road walk in it whether you are righteous or what holy because the holy and the evil must grow together till the close of time because God is love but the love of God does not segregate 
those to love and those not to love, God loves us equally. And that is the God I want to serve. I don't want to serve a God who actually looks at my skin and says, you are a black man. You, don't, you will not make it to heaven. No, that is not the God I serve. Okay, you didn't get me. Let me lie down. A friend of mine who is light skinned told me not long ago. And he said, my friend, you are too black to make it to heaven. I looked at him and I said, what do you mean? When we all make it to heaven, everyone will be surprised that God will be like me. He says, no. Then he says this, that when he shall meet Christ in the clouds, I was listening to him, when he shall meet Christ in the clouds, because I want to enjoy the feel, how it feels like to fly like an angel. Then he says, the moment we are in heaven, I will ask Jesus to drop me down because he will look like you. I told him, my friend, don't worry. The pearly gates will not open to, to kick you out because we forever we shall be with the Lord. Say amen, my friend. God is what? Whether you love him or not. And in the context of Isaiah 30, try to convince someone. The children of God, Israel did not deserve the love of God. They were worshipping other idols. Women actually were heard of marriage. Many young people were working singles. The married were saying they were single, yet they were single were saying they don't care. But God says, whether mm, whether you walk to the right or to the left, you shall hear the voice saying this is the way walk in it. Okay, you didn't, get the, you didn't get the context. The context is Proverbs 4.27 Joshua 1.7 The rule of the game The rule of the covenant are stated If you want God to bless you then walk straight do not turn to the left or to the world. But here God says that now I've been pleading with you enough. Now, whether you walk in a straight line, the voice will call you. Are you with me? The voice will say, this is the road. Walk in it. Now the Hebrew. Hebrew says, you are on as Naim. That is now. You are on ears. We'll hear the word Davar saying, this is the road. This is the direction. Walk in it. Now, if this is the direction, and you know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and this is a good church now, SDS. This verse you've mastered very well. In fact, <laughs> SDS, these days, we have mastered John 3.16 wonderfully. Okay, let us recite John 3.17. For God so now you are not talking now. You don't know John 3, 17, 16. Okay, if you know it, recite. For God so that he gave that you so ever shall not walk. What is John 3, 17? I can see your volume is going down and you want to make it through like this heaven, my friend, you must read and saturate your brain with the word of God. Hallelujah. I'm saying that whether you turn, whether you snatch someone else's wife, the Bible says you shall hear the word saying here is the road, walk in it. Okay, let me bring it down so that you understand me. The children of Israel were evil before God. Actually, many of them were worshipping a God with mouth but cannot speak. A God with legs but cannot walk. A God with eyes but cannot see. Till they forgot. The Bible says they were proud. Proud people. Proud, proud. Even if they are walking, they will proudly walk. Talk proudly. And the Bible says, my friend, I've been pleading with you. Here is the road. Walk in it. See, that is the grace that I want. I want a God who is gracious. Hmm. Okay. Let me bring it down so that you understand me. 
you and I know very well that by the grace of God, we have seen 2022. If it is by your own power, raise your hand. If it is by the grace of God, say amen. amen. Now I'm saying that if you remember your walk in 2021, then you know you don't qualify to be here. It is by the grace. A grace that covered an adulterer to the year 2022. This row is not getting me. The grace that covered a serious fornicator to 2022. Can you say amen, my friend? The grace that covered someone who stole from the poor and the widow to 2022 by the grace of God. The songwriter put it very well. He says, Marvelous grace of our loving Lord, grace that exists on sin and our guilt. Yonder, there were grace, God. That is the grace I'm talking about. The whisper of love. Though you don't deserve it, God says you shall hear the voice saying this is the way to walk in it. Mm. My friend, the whisper, the good news is with all the sins that you do, Jesus is still gracious. Hallelujah. He says, there's hope. I'm focusing in verses 3 verses and I sit down. The first verse says, Therefore, the Lord will wait for you. That is verse 18. Read it with me. The Lord says, Though you are not walking righteously with me, your behaviors are contrary to the dictates of heaven. The Bible says, The Lord will wait for you. Did you read it with me? I mean, Isaiah 30, verse 18. He says, Therefore, the Lord will wait that he may be gracious to you. If you are with me, say amen. amen. Now I'm saying that. God is promising to bless you even though your walk with him is not been perfect. If you, are, you didn't get married last year, 2022 is your year. No, they didn't get me. Whether you are evil, God is saying this year is your year. The year 2021. No, and I'm greeting for that. The greeting says 2022. And you say the year of blessing. Okay, let me try. If it is sounding poor, I'm going to drop it immediately. 2022. Yeah. Now, that is good. Now, when I say the year of blessing, you say trust and obey. Are you with me? 2022. The year of blessing. No, this is a good church. That is a direct A. Hallelujah. And I'm saying that. The Bible says whether you have not been faithful, this is your year. A lady was left one week before wedding. So the lady called, Pastor, Pastor, with me, with me is knife. With me is poison. Pastor, <laughs> Pastor, tell me only one word. Only one word. Now, the question is, how can a youth who is in this church pay dowry, invite me to be in his wedding? I was ready to eat that food very well. How can a youth invite people for the wedding? Then one week before the wedding, he wakes up and he says, Sister, sister, I'm calling off the wedding. My friend, only an evil young man can do that. I know you'll be told that it's better not to be married, you call off wedding, than to be, wed be married to a wrong lady. My friend, everyone has come short of the glory of who? Okay, you didn't get me, so let me lie down. 
Many people move from one church to the other. The same church, hey, people are adulterers, people are fornicators, I'm moving away. I'm the only righteous man. Now listen now. If you are righteous, then you are the person who should stay when people are running. Why? Okay, let me, my elder, can you come now? You. Yes. Hello, hello, Nyamu, come. Now, listen now. If, this is a very good elder, God bless you. Don't be afraid, elder. Yeah. <laughs> if, Elder Onyam, who is the first elder of this church, wants to run away saying that everyone is evil, then let his righteousness transform the church. Before you move saying the church is evil, no, the Bible says, let your light so what? Mm, yes, that is it. So don't run away, stay, so that you can also transform us. I'm saying. <laughs> yes. So the lady says, um, 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 here with me is knife and poison. I've been left one week to the wedding. I say, my friend, if you want to go ahead and kill yourself, don't worry, your husband is coming in the year 2022. The Lord will wait. Okay, you didn't get to me. The Lord will wait for you to come. The same way the prodigal's father waited for the son to come back. The Bible says when he came back to his senses. Now you didn't get to me. When he heard the whisper of love, he started back home. And the Bible says no Bible study was done. No choir was invited to sing. He was running back to the father. Those who met him ask, why is the young man running and moving briskly? Someone said, because he has heard the whisper of love. Amen. And the Bible says, he came back by himself. That voice is the voice which inquired of Adam in, a, in Eden. The Bible says, the voice came, Adam, where are you? And Adam says, I heard the voice. Read the Bible, Genesis chapter 3. 3 to 9. The Bible says Adam confesses by saying, even in my perceived nakedness, I heard the voice. Why? And then the voice says, but who told you, Adam, that you are what? Now, who told you that you can't make it? Who told you that you are ugly, you cannot be married? My friend, the Bible says we are handsomely and beautifully made. You see, I'm adding handsomely because of the men who are here. <laughs> who don't believe they are handsome? Because the Bible says I'm wonderfully and beautifully what? But some men are saying men were not included in that text. Some are saying you are handsomely and beautifully what? Reflecting the glory of who? Hallelujah. And then the Bible says, verse 19, for the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. You shall weep no more. Okay, if people even even say you shall weep no more. Some are busy. I'm saying, my friend, you shall weep no more. Why? Because this year, even the husband who has not been sleeping home must begin to sleep home. Can you say amen? No. There are families where you come to church pretending that everything is good. Everything is moving on well. Yet, back home, you don't even talk with one another. My friend, that is not how we are making it to heaven. If you love one another, love and be faithful to your wife. You didn't get me? I'm saying this. If you are wedded in church, what makes a man a man? What makes a man a man? It's not the, the size of his car. This row is silent. Let me try this one. What makes a man a man? It's not the size of his car. 
It's not the color of his skin. It's not the size, whether short or what. You are not with me. It's not the size of his house. A man is only a man when he's faithful to his wife. Before you become faithful, you are not a man yet. And the Bible says, you shall weep. No what? No, you didn't get me. So let me illustrate. You see, I'm stationed in a social media group, security guard. My manager is here. But you met me before I close over. My friend, you are looking good. Can you stand up? My manager is Patrick. Patrick used to be my manager in Fago Kuria. I joined him after I left Wells Fargo. Those are sisters' company. He's looking good, is it? That is because God, the, the message of God, the Bible, has a way of making ugly people understand. <laughs> the Bible has a way of transforming you. You know, you didn't get it, so let me illustrate. Stationed National Media Group and Wells Fargo had this serious element for security guard. Serious attire and serious shoe. Now, I'm a young man who has just left from four. So, I'm a young man, fresh young man. But then, you see, when you are stationed, it is a 12-hour job. And the lady used to come. One lady, young lady, very beautiful lady. So each time I'm the person to open the door for the, door for the lady, she gets in. When she's coming out, I'm the one to open. But I'm saying, this lady is a potential wife. You are not with me. So, when she comes in the morning, potential wife. But then I say now, how do I begin by telling her what is in my heart? Because the way I'm dressed, I'm not qualified. But so one day, I make the courage. You see, in, in my language, we are taught to be brave young men. Hallelujah. So I say, whether she will accept or not, she must know what is in my work. <laughs> and so, I'm praying, you shall weep. <laughs> Wish us of love. So, she comes in the morning, and then I say, I pluck up the courage, and then I say, sister, good morning. Yes, is it possible we have a word? So I don't look at her. I'm in my element. I'm not even sure if she knows how handsome I looked. <laughs> but she says, yes, we can have a word, but now I'm busy, but wait for me. When I'll be leaving, coming back in the evening, you will say what is in your heart. And so I begin to prepare the word. See, you must prepare. I will say this, immediately I will post this. I'm waiting. But you see, I called the guy who was supposed to replace me and I say, young man, today I'm, I have a serious business. Give me some 45 minutes. So uh, at 6, the lady comes out. But she's in a hurry. And then she says, hey, you said you have a word. You see the way she came with Fujo. Even the words. <laughs> even the words I had prepared disappear. And then I say, as a man, now, as a man, I say, but a man must try. So I say, yes. Let me tell you, my friend, it's good to be brave. Many young people are single now because they cannot speak. My friend, you cannot, you cannot win a lady with the khaki, you must talk. There are many young ladies, many young men who cannot speak. My friend, if you cannot they are praying for a lady to drop from heaven. They will not drop. Speak. So I say yes. I was thinking. Now listen now. I was thinking if. You see I'm very direct. God made me a very direct preacher. I was thinking if. You and me. If you and what. Can start up something leading to marriage. 
I'm very direct. She heard me clearly. So the lady, instead of responding as I expected, looked straight in my head. Helmet, serious one. Look at my attire. Looked at my shoe and said, You, now the opposite now. You and start something leading to what? <laughs> and then she says, She says, Are you for real? <laughs> that, that is the question I'm asking you. You who say you are a Christian, are you a Christian for real? You who say he's born again, are you really born again? You who sing in the choir, let me tell you, my friend, a day will come, then every wall will speak. You didn't get me, so let me have the courage. God help me. One day, every lodges will speak. And they will say, my friend, I've been covering you with this woman for long, not anymore. One day, forest will speak. And I'm saying, no secret will last forever. They will be revealed. And that is biblical, my friend. It is biblical. If you are a Christian, be a Christian for real. Say amen, my friend. The last one. The last one. Verses 21 says, Your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, This is the way to walk in it. My friend, this is the way. Jesus is the way of righteousness. My friend, there's a way when you are in Christ, Christ can transform you, my friend. Those who are in Christ, they experience joy in place of pain. Those who are in Christ, they rejoice in times of sorrow. I'm saying be in Christ. You shall hear the voice saying this is the way. Walk in it. I will wait for you. You shall weep no more. Here is the voice. Here is the voice. Because this is the voice that called the prodigal son back. This is the voice that called Abraham. This is the voice that actually called me to preach the gospel. When I'm preaching the gospel, it is life and death. If you are not willing to preach the truth, don't preach anymore. Stand and preach. Are we together, my friend? Mm. Jesus can transform anyone, anyone. And he says, you shall hear the voice. You see, I want to finish with this by saying, in my local village, there was a man who was notorious. Remember when SDS back home, churches did not have the PA system. You guys grew up in Nairobi, so you don't know these things. Back home, churches mostly did not have the public address. And so, when people are in church, a man used to come saying, Bossa, Tinder or Rakende. A man. So wondering, you know, you didn't get Tinder or Rakende. I'm saying I'm speaking a goosey language, which is saying, I've seen nothing. I've seen <coughs> no, you're not with me. So each and every morning she used to come saying, Bossa, Tinder or Rakende. And they're wondering, what is wrong with this man? He made sure that he drank to his full. Every Friday he could go into drinking. And then when people are in church, he's walking saying, Tinarara. So we are wondering, which kind of a man is this? So one day, because there's a way God can call you. If the church cannot transform you, God will allow the world to transform you. Because God is love. These guys don't get me. I'm saying this. One person must be caught with someone else's wife beaten and his teeth removed and he will come to church singing in the choir without teeth. <laughs> and when you see him like that, that will be a testimony that God is love. <laughs> no, these guys are not with me. So this man, on a Friday, he goes drinking and then he comes in the morning when people are almost singing hallelujah, yeah, he said, nothing, nothing, I've seen nothing. In fact, he's mocking those who are worshiping the Lord. Now, God made sure. God made sure that one day, evening, when he went into drinking, when he was drinking, he drank to his food. He knew that tomorrow I must disturb them. So when he drank past midnight, 
He says, the voice called him, saying, my friend, is enough. Start going back to your, your wife. Your wife. So, a few hours past midnight, he begins going back home. But then there was a, a bush next to the church. So, by the time he gets to this bush, the wine takes toll of his brain, his legs, and his hands, and he could not walk. So, he finds himself asleep. He wakes up the next morning around 10. Around 10. As his tradition is, when he comes back to his senses, he must check if his leg and his hand are intact. And so he used to begin to drive his vehicle. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And so he begins in his brain, is zoom. But then he realized that he cannot move his legs. Why? A giant snake, God allowed a giant snake. A giant snake located him, wrapped himself around him, but did not bite. God was in control. <laughs> so he says, I can't move. When he opens his eyes, he realizes that the giant snake, him and the giant snake are looking at each other. The snake has opened his mouth big, waiting for him to come back to his senses. And so the whisper tells him, my friend, cry to God. You have not been worshiping. Cry to God now. And then he says, Jesus, help me. When he says, Jesus helps me, the, 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 the snake unwrapped itself and moves away. And then he says, another whisper came, saying, Muse, old man, the door to the church is wide open. <laughs> And so he started running, running at high speed. He goes to the church, crying to the pastor. Today is the elder of the church. Amen. That is what the whisper will do. Hello, church. And I'm saying, have you heard the whisper? The whisper. There's no one that Jesus cannot transform. Jesus can, Jesus can restore peace in your family. Jesus can bless you. Because this is a year of blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. The year of what? Mm. Stay connected to Jesus Christ and he will bless you. Whisper of love. How many have heard the whisper of love? If you have not heard anything, let me tell you, my friend, you are breathing because God cares for you. It might be tough, but Christ will sell you through it because Jesus loves you. I'm saying, how many have heard about the whispers of love? Stand on your feet, my friend. Stand on your feet. God loves you. And he'll bless you. And he'll overcome every challenge because God loves you. God loves you. I want to invite my pastors here to come. My pastors and El Donyangu, come. Come. I want to say this, as my choristers take their position. I want to say this. You've heard of the whispers of love. You've heard that Jesus cares. And you've heard that Jesus loves you. If you are here and you want to be baptized, just watch march to the pulpit. Number two, if you are here and you want us to pray, to join with you in prayers, probably you lost your finance. This is the year of blessings. Hallelujah. You lost your relatives. This is the year of blessings. And I will say, if anything is troubling you, join me on the pulpit here. We pray together. Baptism and special prayers. Whispers of love. Whispers of love. Whispers of love. That is the love of Jesus Christ. So join me. If you want to be baptized, join me. If you have a special prayer request, just join me on the pulpit. We pray together. As our choristers take us through Psalm 462. Thank you. Just come. Don't look at your neighbor. Going to heaven is not a corporate uh, journey, it is an individual journey. Just come. Just come. We're going to pray together. Just come. Pastor, you're praying for those who are here for baptism. You pray for us, you pray for me as well, and you pray for the world church. You are going to pray for those who are here. For with various prayer requests that the Lord may be able to answer them at the very point of their needs. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. 
May the Lord watch over you. Still want to come, you can join, even when the prayers are ongoing. If you are here for baptism, we meet uh, in the vestry, a room behind the pulpit. For prayer request, pastor will pray. Those who uh, remember where you sat, if your belongings there, please be your brother's keeper. Be your brother's keeper. We are in a church, and not everyone wants to go to heaven. Amen? Yes, amen. The Lord bless you. <clears throat> a loving Father, everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus our creator our savior we praise you for this beautiful morning that you gave us to come in your presence in worship uh, we praise your name lord uh, that you have blessed us with your word we thank you for the message built on uh, whispers of love by your servant uh, pastor Alo. We thank you that you love us, even though we are not deserving. You spoke to the children of Israel and say that they will hear a voice telling them, this is the way. Father, we pray to thank you for your sons and daughters who in their walk of life they have heard your voice telling them it is time to return. And today they have returned back to you. Receive them back to yourself. We thank you that your word was demonstrated by your son Jesus when he came on this planet earth. And say that you are always waiting like the prodigal son for those who are returning. Receive our brothers and sisters into unto yourself and keep them in you the rest of their lives we praise you and thank you for drawing them back to yourself we thank you for speaking to them we thank you lord for giving them the courage to be able to return praise be to your name help us lord to keep on listening to your voice we are weird people like the children of Israel were proud in their nature and following after the dictates of their hearts, worshipping idols. But even though that was true, you said they will hear your voice. And we do the same. But we are standing here, your children are standing here that have returned the Lord to say, enough of musujing around with the idols of this life. They have come back to you who is the creator of the heaven and the earth in whose friendship alone life is everlasting and life is fulfilling. Keep them in you and put them in your service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, just to add on this prayer, your word has been spoken. Your sons and daughters have heard your word. It's time for us to respond to you. Yes, your sons and daughters have walked upstage because they're making a decision. They're making a choice to walk in the path of righteousness. Thank you for speaking to every one of us. And thank you for more so making it a conviction in the hearts of those who have walked upstage because they want a desire. There's a desire within them that, Lord, you may dwell in their hearts. Father, I want to bring this entire group that's upstage that has come because they need that special prayer may you hear their prayers and answer each one of them according to their needs i just remember jonathan who's not feeling well i pray that you be with him and answer the prayer of his heart thank you god for blessing this church with the messages of hope and messages that will transform us let not just be a feeling that will be for a short time, 
but we are asking a staying power that only comes from Jesus. Thank you for using your man servant and also the other minister, Pastor Kali, and the leaders and, the, and all the leaders of the church who make this work up. We pray that your presence may continue to dwell in us. We know that you are coming soon and you are preparing our people for the second coming. And that's why we surrender to you this afternoon because we believe in you and we trust that your word will come to pass. This is our prayer because we believe and trust in the mighty name of Jesus and let the church say, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, our Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, our cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, glory forever and ever. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Tell your neighbor God loves you.